Welcome once again to Monster. Thank you for joining us. On this week's show, we discuss and redesign Raziel from Soul Reaver. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, guys, please introduce yourselves. Oh, crap. Hold on. <laughs> you got names all over your face. Get those off your face. <laughs> all right, we're good. I should have figured that out beforehand. All right, sorry, James. I ruined your shit. Oh, uh, no problem. All right, go. Uh, hi, my name is James Wu, and I kind of just see. Currently right now, I'm kind of just doing art for the people. I call it like people's art. And it's like my own, let's see, kind of website to make art that's just like public property. So, and copyright free, so. And then the, another type of art, which I kind of just do as for like personal art, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're a practicing artist, like, in, in yeah. stuff or for, for free for everybody to use. That's cool, man. Yep. Well, but you're sleeping on me, bro. Huh? <laughs> yep. You're next. You're next, dude. Who, me? Yeah, you're the only Popa in the room. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> you, got some, you got some HIV yeah. like a motherfucker. I thought that was the third one. I got it. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm freelancer, concept artist, uh, illustrator, and from time to time I do also comics. And I just enjoy what I'm doing. So, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm uh, my name's uh, Rudy Rodriguez. I'm a freelance concept artist, illustrator, and I'm based here in um, Northern California. Like the the dirty belly button of California. <laughs> okay. Is it the Sacramento or? Um, so it's uh, Modesto. Modesto. Like the home of George Lucas. So oh, it's, nice. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Dirty I live on a ranch. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Okay. Um, hello, Jonathan Hernandez. I'm a concept artist living in Mexico. I work for uh, an outsourced video game company. And I don't know, pretty much I like to do creatures, illustration, characters. I don't know, I'm aiming to work for movies, but still can't do it. <laughs> That's the goal, right on, man. Yeah. Dion. Green. All right, my name is uh, Dion Harris. I am a freelance illustrator, concept artist, um, general art dude based out of Colorado, Denver. Um, and I'll draw whatever people want for money. <laughs> <That's> sexy. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> no. you're such a little slut. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, here, I'm the host of the show. I, uh, art sluts. I, I'm an art slut as well. I'm here to perform for you today uh, for free. Uh, so, yeah, here we are. Let's uh, move, move us to the... Uh, so, so everybody is familiar with the the subject matter of Raziel. Yeah. Um, yep. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Like, what what are you wearing? Like the storyline for this guy? Like, 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 what what do you know? Like, he was thrown into a pit by his vampire master. <laughs> no revived why, why, by why? some sort of elder god. The abyss. Yeah. Because because the story arc goes, it's 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 crazy. It's like. Uh, it's it's like i don't know a, a friend of mine was explaining it to me it's like nuts like you have to be a scientist to understand it but there's a lot of shit <laughs> going on <laughs> i think it's because of the time traveling is that what it is yeah there's a lot of time traveling yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of time traveling in that story <laughs> okay I, I didn't know that okay, I'm, gonna, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put i'm gonna put these these names up and hopefully they stick uh, next time 
that next time uh, they'll, they'll look a little sexier, hopefully. <coughs> what, what, what do you guys see on your end, dude? Those of you that are watching, I hope you don't see a little red box around each of the names. Adrian, <coughs> Adrian in the chat, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> anyway, Raziel's story. So, so why, why, uh, why did why did King get pissed and and uh, rip, rip down his wings? You guys know? You guys did a little research. Yeah, right? yeah, because he um, he glowed up before the King did. Basically, he blew up. Like, yeah, he blew up. He got his his special abilities, and the King was wasn't having it because he didn't have them yet. So he ripped his wings off and threw him in the. Uh, the acid lake or the, the burning lake yeah it was just it's just water because it's apparently uh, like all the vampires uh, uh, i guess they if you touch water you're dead That's yeah it. okay so nobody's taking baths nobody <laughs> stinky ass vampires <clears throat> but but what about the rest of the story like like from from my understanding i watched the cut scenes i did a little bit of reading i saw that uh like after it's bugging me. I wonder I wonder if those red squares are showing. I hope they're not showing. <clears throat> anyway, uh, after after he like dies and comes back to life, he, he comes back like a thousand years later, right? Yeah. 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 Comes back a thousand years later and shit's shit's fucked up. Like is everybody's retarded. <laughs> like they got, they're, they're like basically perversions of what they were before. Like they're, yeah, yeah. they're, they're uh, all grown, like grown into monstrous beasts, and that's what the vampires became. I, I don't, I wasn't quite sure, sure about the like the why of that. Like why did they? Is that just how they evolved? It's like they de, de evolved, I mean, kind of. Yeah, the way they made it seem is like they they devolved or like really started mutating because yeah. of something that the master did. So I'm not sure. See, I, I, I thought the, uh, like maybe that's where Raziel was kind of going to go. Like he, he got wings. Maybe he was the first to start like devolving or evolving or however you want to call it. Evolving. <laughs> <laughs> um, did did you guys find any other information, like as far as uh, like uh, like little tidbits of like storyline and whatnot? Like, are you guys familiar with the Legacy of Kane series? A little bit. I remember that he like gained special abilities um, depending on who he killed. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like later, like I know, I know in Raziel's story, like throughout the. He, Gained, uh, like, he became the Soul Reaver. He was a Soul Reaver, and then, and then came like, like, like hit him with the sword, and the sword exploded. But he knew that was going to happen anyway. Cause he's like a time traveler, I guess. And it was explained to me by another guy that, uh, uh, actually, he, he comes on the show quite often. Amir Alam. He, he's he's quite a fan. He wanted to be on the show, but he's so busy right now. <clears throat> he uh, he said that uh, later on, with all the after all the time traveling and stuff, Raziel becomes the sword. He like agrees to become uh, King's sword in the end. Oh, yeah, okay. spoiler, spoiler, nice. spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. With Raziel. Twenty years old. Spoiler. He's like <laughs> he's like fuck this fuck this walking vampire zombie shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a sword. And, and that was it. Like that. And the reason for Raziel's, uh, or the reason why Kane's doing all this stuff is because uh, he, he also explained to me that the, the everybody has a fate, and like you, you literally have no control. You don't, you don't have any control of your life. And, and he, he decided to, he wanted to to throw that aside and create his own fate. Even if it meant like killing all his friends and 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 that this way everybody on the on the in the world will be able to uh, 
create their own destiny and it's not preordained. That's mm -hmm. deep shit. I thought that was pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's how convoluted the, the writing got. I don't know if you guys got into any of that, but I got a <laughs> friend that's a big fan and, and he, he was he was all about it. So and, and that's what he explained to me. <laughs> Yeah, I never actually got into that game really, so. Yeah, I think it was like the first time I got introduced to the game, so. Yeah, I never really played it, but I, I remember seeing like the artwork or the, the character, the uh, Raziel, like in magazines and uh, like gaming magazines, come, you know, just being advertised, but I never really played it. Yeah, like. Yeah. Even if you, yeah, I'm gonna turn these off. Because, even if you you don't know anything about the character, he, he uh, like he's appealing, right? He looks yeah, cool. yeah, it's pretty yeah. iconic. He's iconic, utterly iconic. Like there was nothing <laughs> like that beforehand. Like some yeah. vampire missing his jaw and like just showing the top things and. And being a wraith, and you know, uh, I, I guess Vampire the Masquerade. Have you are you guys familiar with that? Yeah, they they, ex they explore like some deeper lore to go along with, uh, not not Raziel, but like paralleled lore. Like I don't know if uh, 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 I don't I don't. <laughs> I was looking at I was looking at the chat. This guy's name's Punished Dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I was space. The game we're talking about is uh, is uh, Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. And, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And we're all gonna do the redesigns that were we already did our redesigns because we're good boys. And, and we're going to share redesigns with the main character Raziel from, from, from the game. Punish Dad, I love your name. You must have children. Um, or you've seen a bunch of tired dads out there that are, that are and you thought it was funny. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, I lost myself. <laughs> help, help me. The, the iconic design of, of the character. Yeah. Oh yeah, the design of the character is uh, iconic, and, and Vampire the Masquerade, uh, they had a bunch of lore. I had, like, my other buddy was telling me that, uh, uh, not Amir, but he was saying that uh, a lot of that lore he wasn't really impressed with for Soul Reaver, because, because the, uh, it seems kind of like a watered-down version of like, a lot of the lore that was in Vampire the Masquerade. So... Mm -hmm. Bottom right guy is a little quiet compared to some of white noise. I'm the bottom right yeah. guy. Here, I'm gonna put these names up one more time. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see if they, do they have little red squares around them? No, no. Nope. I'm asking no. Punish Dad. Punish Dad. I actually don't have kids at first dad because I thought it would be funny that everyone I knew was going to be designed to call you dad. <laughs> right on, dude. Welcome. You're, you're my kind of people. <laughs> Alright, well, um, you guys, since you guys are just filled with lore about Soul Reaver and the legacy of Cain, um, <laughs> I think it might be time to. Uh, to expose ourselves to the cameras, uh, and then uh, we will, once I get these names in this folder right here, live on camera so I can turn them all off at the same time when necessary. Sorry guys, so unprofessional. I don't give a shit, we still watch them. <clears throat> anyway, uh, James, would you, would you be a doll and expose yourself first to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> You, right, you mean show my design? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't stand okay. up and it, like literally expose yourself. Right? 
There's the screen share thing. Oh, it is on the bottom left. There. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. That's what I kind of started out with. So okay. my idea was like, uh, let's see. Yeah, I was kind of like just researching the legacy of Kane lore. And while I was like doing the research, I was kind of like randomly trying to generate a topic for it. So what I used was like, one of those tarot cards and I was just like shuffling them to like let's see make a topic or a story out of it so and what I kind of got was like let's see it was like the magician so and I think for like the story aspect is oh, oh man I haven't heard a phone like that in a thousand years <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this first. You gonna go? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't have to do that. All right, we're moving on. We're coming back to you, bro. We're coming back. Get the, get the out of here. All right, Alex, you're out, bro. Sorry, man. So, uh, just a second. Just one second to not that one, this one. There we go. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, damn. It's, it's not pretty nice. Cool. Dark. I like it. Look at his wormy arm. Yeah. All right, so tell us about the design. Take us on the tour. Uh. Even though the story was kind of messed Ooh. up and a bit confusing <laughs> sometimes, uh, I just went uh, when, when redesigning, uh, just went back to the basics, as in um, he becoming some sort of a wraith when he was uh, resurrected by the Ancient One. And so far, I find out that the ancient one, the design from the ancient one was something, I don't know, uh, you probably had an inspiration from Lovecraft. Yeah, so, nice. So I think it was like, like a or something. But. Yeah, so I went there trying to combine, you know, uh, his wraith-ish form with his vampire form and with you know, a lot of worms and tentacles from the from the ancient one. Nice. Uh, okay, that's, that's cool. cool. That's a cool idea for yeah. sure. Yeah. So uh, you know, he during the game you had that spiral that was used for the you know your life status or something in the bottom of the screen or bottom left or bottom right. You know your life bar. What do you mean? Your life bar. Oh, okay, okay, got it. And it was like a spiral, so I used the spiral on uh, some details on his costume, just to make it more interesting. And I kind of try to think of other way for the sword, uh, and use it more like uh, two bone spikes that uh, are, you know. Uh, merging from the from his hand or arm so basically he doesn't have his complete uh, right arm it's just those spikes as the sword itself mm. so, so it's, it's more of a it's more of like a real world aesthetic as opposed to like like the spirit blade or whatever like or or does it have is that is that magic constantly kind of moving around it like smoke yeah yeah this is you know the actual you know the sword the soul river sword and by the different different uh idea for it mm. yeah. and i kind of um i didn't want to do that cloth that you it was covering his face uh because you know it's been overused for so many designs so instead i did something like this cool 
Oh yeah. This is okay. So he's got a mask instead. Yeah. So, so tell tell me about the mask. Like, what's the mask about? Like, is it does it have a history? Is it or is it, is it just basically the mask helps him? You know, one of the things is to cover up his face because that's the first thing he does when he resurrects. When finding out that he doesn't have a jaw. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm disgusting. And then yeah. Up, yeah. So uh, you know, without the mask, looks like this. A closer shot. Yeah, that's cool, man. You got you got down with the detail on the face. Oh yeah. Yeah, looks like you had some fun. Whose rooster is that? <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> I live on a ranch. Anyway, <laughs> got a bunch uh, of chickens. That's awesome. <laughs> And also, I kind of uh, changed his haircut to a mohawk-like because I I wasn't quite a fan of that Backstreet Backstreet Boys-like hair. <laughs> you didn't like the Save, save, by, the, save yeah. by the Bell hair? Yeah. What? You, you didn't like his Save by the Bell hair? Did you remember? Did you get Save by the Hell? The, the Save by the Hell? Save by the Bell? And the <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. AC Slater hair. <laughs> yeah, Zach, I know. Zach Morris. Zach Morris. Hey. Yeah, Zach Morris. And um, I, I kind of like the Mohawk. It's, you know, much more badass, you know, even with or without a mask. Yeah, it looks, looks more cool. metal for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it makes them just look more aggressive altogether, I th I'd say. Yeah. Well, right on. Yeah, that's that's cool. I dig it. I, I like the idea. Well, no, you you said those worms. You're tying them to uh, the uh, who? Because I'm I'm still foggy, and the, the story goes everywhere. So to the, to the yeah. uh, ancient one, the one who revived him, who okay. resurrected him. And, and and in in Soul Reaver, what is the ancient one? He he has in Soul Reaver. In Soul Reaver. Yeah. What does he look like? He looks like yeah. an he eye looks with an oct octopus with. An like one eye or something. Oh, okay. He, he, he had multiple eyes. Yeah, multiple eyes. And a lot of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Cthulhu, yeah. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to do some good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool, man. Good, good, good idea with the, the worms yeah. thing. I didn't think about, like, changing his arm in, in totality with my, with my design to something that ties him more to, like, the Elder God. That's interesting. <laughs> So, what would you say? Now, that here, here's the here's the question we always ask. Yeah. What, what would you What would you uh, say your favorite part about it is? What you did. Okay. That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, I can see all the love. I can see the love. The love. I uh, basically kind of uh, the upper body. It's uh, it's my favorite part because I kind of played with the idea of the worms and you know the tentacle things from Cthulhu and his uh, wraith-like wings and the sword uh, the sword design. Mm. Yeah, and, and and what would you say your least favorite part? <laughs> the legs. <laughs> Pretty much, I didn't know what else I, I I could do with them, so I just leave them, you know, muscle tones, and that's it. Okay, fair enough. I didn't want to, you know, fill up too many details to distract from the main, you know, from his face and the main elements. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can see that. Right on, good piece. Thanks. Very cool. Hmm. Anybody else have any? Uh, any uh... Yeah, that turned out great, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really like the the yeah. form in the back and the in the arm. It really looks great. Like a good concept of how how his works, his his powers could work. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like how it's yeah, like like, too. like dark mystical. And gruesome at the at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I like yeah. it. Yeah, and, and yeah. it looks aggressive too, which I, I yeah. like that part about it. He looks he looks more 
he doesn't look so skulking in the shadows type of guy. He looks like he's going to come out and rape you with his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I dig it. Yeah, like he's yeah, really pissed. On. Like he does not like n not having his jaw anymore. He's like, I'm going to make something happen about this. Yeah. Yeah. So, good piece, man. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. J James Wu, huh? you want to you, you want to go back to yours? Huh? Okay, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll hit you. We'll hit you again. There we go. So, anyways, yeah. back to James Wu. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I was trying to like generate a topic by using like a bunch of like tarot cards, and one of like the stuff that kind of came out was like the magician. So, and there was like, let's see, and some, uh, I guess like some story cards element behind it. There's like the justice upside down, which I thought I could use as an illustration for like Razzy Elegance Kane. Justice? What do you mean the justice upside down? Uh, justice card. It's, uh, it's like one of those cards in tarot. Uh, I like one of these cards, so. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I thought about just making uh, Razzie, Raziel into like, uh, I guess this is like Diabolist. So, someone who found like, a ma when he was like thrown off the pit, uh, he found like some sort of, like, instead of like Soul Reaver, he found like some sort of magical book that had like the spirits of 5,000 demons or something. And then he kind of like, just like, he heard like a bunch of voices. So, and it was coming from like the spirits of the book. So, and when he kind of like reached down to like grab the book, he becomes like some sort of like diabolist or someone who like summons like demons to like do his bidding to, oh, to like fight off his enemies. So. Okay. So it, yeah. it effectively it like changed it changed his essence who he was altogether. Like he just became yeah, something so. else. Yeah, so that was kind of like the the story behind it. So yeah, I, w I would like to see like some of the demons that he would he would summon. I, I would, I'd yeah, get on that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to finish this too. So. Or some kind of like uh, like burst of like like dark energy or like you know like uh, magic coming out of the book into its eyes or like in the middle part the the middle concept the middle or something like that, that like or a ten some kind of tentacle like you were saying some like you know the demons or whatever like the tentacle monsters coming uh, out yeah like tying them further to it uh, oh yeah bastard beast in the chat he, he says like the Necronomicon yeah the, that was yeah, a yeah. Oh yeah, or something. You, you so. know, it'd be cool is if, like, you you, you kind of took the idea of the book being fused, like, or the you know, like, infused the book to his hand or something like that. Oh yeah. Like, like, like he's become part of the. Like, like got all these souls and stuff. Like they're like, I don't know, just in, yeah. just going into port, like not pores, but holes in his body or something. I don't know. That's where mine. My mind's going with that. Uh, okay. All right. What, what, what you got going here? This is we got live action shit now on Monster. <laughs> this shit. This shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, um, so effectively, you kind of took him in and put him in a little bit different universe and changed his story a little yeah. bit, but kept the same aesthetics. Well, similar yeah. aesthetics with the hands and like the blue skin. Yeah, and also the scarf a bit too. The scarf, yeah. Now, is your no? I see that one on the right. Is that before he's transformed, or does he get to keep his jaw? Right, the right. On the right, the the with the with them standing there. Uh, oh yeah, the right. Yeah, just like before he was like transformed. Oh no. Uh, I guess it was like just a scene where he kind of like keeps his like pretty features, so like his jaw too. So oh, okay. yeah. Thank you for letting me do my job. <laughs> yeah. That's that's always nice, right? Because we've all seen those motorcycle accident videos, and they're not pretty. <laughs> yeah. 
So, um, so James, what would you say your favorite part about uh, your <coughs> design experience or your uh, the, like the piece itself um, or one of your iterations? Like, what was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. okay. I kind of felt like the research was kind of like one of my favorite parts. Okay. Just like about the lore, uh -huh. so and then kind of just mix mashing it with like some random topic I found in like tarot cards, but, mm. but I also did like enjoy just drawing like the characters in general, so. Mm. so yeah, and I the these shells and the ornaments of the characters, like the yeah. scarf and the school. Mm. Yeah, it, it shows that there is some research in there. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, the first one would look cool animated, I think. Like, if I were to see him moving around and whatnot, like the flowy bits and like uh, his horns, like when he turns his head and all that kind of stuff, I think he'd, he'd look pretty cool. Um, uh -huh. People are saying stuff in the chat. Uh, he said the Adrian Bonson's mm -hmm. first looks, looks Hellboy, two looks Oracle. What's Oracle? <laughs> Probably Orko or E Man. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, says oh. he says last was girly. Orko from E Man? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the last yeah. one, the, the last one does look a little feminine. I, I agree. The last one's feminine. But that that's yeah. okay. You could be, this is the 21st century. Maybe, you know, maybe he identifies as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what happened in the <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens at the end of this story, uh, this 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 universe for Soul Reaver, is he, he identifies as a girl and the, everything, <laughs> everything's okay. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's cool, man. So you you enjoyed uh, digging into the lore. You enjoyed the uh, uh, that that was your favorite part of, of finding yeah. all the little tidbits and and being able to adhere them to the. Uh, this new, you know, being that you're created. Now, what would you say your least favorite part is? Uh, least favorite? Sure. Mm. It could have been yeah. the process. It could have been maybe you don't like one of your iterations. It could be uh, maybe you... I, I think know. it was just like the slow drawing time, to be honest. So, I mean, I did kind of like wish I could just finish this quickly, but... There's like dig well when I'm like just drawing digitally, it's like I kind of feel like it's just a bit slower than drawing to really showing. So. I would say so because uh, the uh, for those of you that are not artists, uh, uh, like like it's more I don't know ergonomic. Well, when you work in Photoshop and you're drawing digitally, the sky's the limit. You could just keep on getting crazy with it, keep on yeah. getting more details, keep on. Getting zooming in, getting closer, and making sure things are right. Well, you're drawing with yeah. pencil, uh, it's like you're limited, and that limitation is good. Like, yeah, you, you don't have to, you know, uh, you're not, you know, you don't feel compelled to mm -hmm. keep, keep going and going and going. Like, you, you find where you want to be, and, and, you know, and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing I had to do with uh, just drawing this. It was like, I had to tell myself, like when I was like cleaning this up, not to go in close too much when there's like, let's see, like my scribble drawing in the first, first place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I had to like keep, make sure like my screen limit, my zoom in limit was just like 100. And just don't go past that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Uh, you, got, you got some more feedback. There's a bastard, bastard beast is hopping on the train. He says the middle looks like Final Fantasy, and the third looks like, like Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts. Vampire Count? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Vampire Counts. But his uh. dad says we need more blue people represented in video games. I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's not fair. Like Tana. We definitely need some more blue people uh, in more video games. Like I sometimes I don't even see any blue people. Yeah. <laughs> Movies too. Yeah. Movies too, and it'd be more fair. But uh, well, right on, James. Uh, good, good piece. Uh, nice yeah. iterations. 
Um, let's 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 have somebody else expose themselves to the camera. Yeah. Who's following Thanks. you, James? Oh yeah, we got two. Uh, let's let's do Rude Dog, Rudy Rodriguez. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right. Are you ready, man? Or are you? Is this somebody uh, else? How do I um? Okay, bottom what? left portion of the screen, you'll see. Uh, no, don't, don't, look at, don't look at his. But bottom left portion of the screen, you'll see. Oh, we're, all right. It says uh, share your screen. Th yep. That's, that's it. All right. Perfect. Cool. Is it sharing? Or sorry, I see you. You look great. <laughs> Is it? Uh, do you see the like Photoshop? No, I see. I see your man cave. I see <laughs> figures and shelves, and I see a pumpkin. You better throw that thing away. It's gonna. I was just about to say that. <laughs> the pumpkin. <No>, it's, <laughs> it's a plastic. It's a okay. plastic one. Rudy, you um, sent me. You sent me your stuff, right? Yeah. It was you that sent me. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, 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 Rudy sent me his stuff, so we are going to share it on my screen. There are ways. Good, good thinking. All right. So, right now we are looking at. Uh, you probably can't see what we're looking at, but maybe you can. Yes, you can. You can see. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yep. All right, so take us on the journey. Do you want to look at this one or the the other end of the spectrum first? Um, whichever. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll start here then. Yeah, uh, this one I kind of like. I, I paid attention to the lore. I, you know, like the 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 cinematics. Uh, but it was kind of, you know, it was, was kind of like disturbing to see, like, because it was so low poly that a lot of like the the old the game. Yeah, it was a PS1 but, uh, game, right? Yeah, yeah. But the the narration was epic because I was just listening to it and I was just I kind of went on my own and just made it a little bit more uh, cat-like, at least for this concept. But uh, um, in the beginning, I just I think I spent too much time in, in ZBrush. I was trying to uh, whatever get uh, too in, into it, and then I should have like went back and forth to Photoshop to try to like get more painterly. But I just kind of like roughed out this this guy just to I don't know, I didn't even get into poly painting so I, <laughs> I kind of like half-assed it a little bit but mm -hmm. I like I kind of like the cat cat like demon look at, that it has mm -hmm. at least for this one. Uh, those of you that are not artists mm -hmm. in the chat, ZBrush is like a 3D program that uh, artists mm -hmm. used to make 3D sculpts and uh, you know digitally. Uh, Bastard Beast says, uh, looks like Marcus from Underworld. Marcus yeah. from Underworld. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with Marcus from Underworld. Me uh, neither. Here, let's... Oh, look, look at this. Oh, I see. Um, from the movie. Nice. And this is, like, pretty much, like, the, the model. It's kind of creepy, like, you know, like, skinny, naked guy. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> wearing, wearing boots. But, uh... Uh, it looks better in ZBrush when you like rotate and you know you get to see like the all the the details. Cause I just did like a screen grab, and um, whatever. It's just like a just showing like the the body. Yeah, it's more like decrepit, more like an old man, like creepy elder demon vampire. I I, I don't mm -hmm. like I, I dig it. Like I I like the proportions. Like it's not it's not very common proportions. Yeah. Like so, I, I think uh, I think that kind of helps it a little bit. Like, but yeah, uh, like you don't you see uh, you always see Superman, Superman uh, like proportions, or you know you don't often see like you know people different different types of body types. Cause... Yeah. And uh, this this whole project just gave me a chance to get, to really get back into ZBrush and try to like just get better or <laughs> just. Uh, do anatomy kind of stuff mm -hmm. even though it's like not super accurate or whatever if it uh that's all right each one, like each one starts getting more accurate you just keep doing it yeah oh, yeah, wow. yeah. It, and this one's just like a nice. quick rent like a quick um screen grab with multiple passes uh that you know like uh different materials and i just try to like blend it it still looks plasticky i i still would add more time so i could really like, 
photo bash, you know, like some other type of like textures and skin. Oh, you know, I just wanted to go for like that look of some kind of like just variations of different takes on on a uh, on the character. Okay. And th those of you that uh, you're, you may have heard photo bash, I don't know if anybody, everybody's artists in the, in the chat. Photo yeah. bashing is a technique where where artists would take uh, like a photo and then kind of like mask in like various parts of it uh, through, uh, to add more grit or texture or even fresh elements to a design or, or, or an image. So, uh, Adrian Blom says uh, he likes he likes the form of the body of the previous one. So. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bastard B says maybe you have a scrap of clothing here or there to make the boots less out of place with you. Oh, okay. I could see that. Like if... Uh, like, yeah, the boots. Yeah. It's like, he's just wearing cowboy boots or what? It's like, he's going to get shit. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, some, some other, uh, I could see that, some other elements of, of uh, cloth on his body to, to just, you know. Like, yeah. Like, More like a mu mummified or kind of like. Yeah, just. Yeah. Or, or some kind of clothing somewhere. Like, like he is an intelligent. Is your, is your Raziel intelligent or is he just a beast of revenge? It's intelligent, but uh, more like uh, he's just uh, yeah, kind of like more demonic. Like, doesn't even matter if he has clothes or not. You know, like uh, dust till dawn. Like when you see, but they were wearing kind of clothes, but they had a lot of like hairy. I should have added hair and stuff, made it more like a primitive. Yeah, that'd be kinda, a good idea. Yeah, like a sure. Neanderthal type oh, of like demon. Too. Yeah, and uh, you know that's another thing. I, I wanted to get into a uh, fiber mesh where you can make. Uh, Hey, you know, like got really white noise. You can make hair. Whatever you did, it's pretty loud. Is it me? Someone turn on a fan or what? Just now. No. Okay. It's computer heating up. Okay. It's you, James? Oh, crap. Right. Okay. Alright, well, sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry, man. Go on. Okay. Yeah, um. I wanted to, uh, I, if I had more time, I would have maybe messed around in ZBrush with a uh, fiber mesh and just like sprayed like hair in certain areas to like cover up like, you know, those privates, you <laughs> know, just make it more like, uh, more <laughs> primitive, more like a beast. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I, I wish I could have spent more time on the hands too. Uh, I would just kind of slop them together. But, uh, it was, you know, it was a challenge uh, just to get back into ZBrush and really like, get back in the mode so then like you know because i'm trying to build that pipeline to um make it all work together like all my even the apps that i have on my um uh, ipad but, uh, and this one um these are just like basic you know side views some kind of like uh mohawk type of thing going on yeah, that's cool. uh, there's real, more bulk they're more bulk that, that, white, but that white noise is pretty distracting. It's not you, James. You're muted, right? Yeah, I'm muted. Yeah, it's so. not you. Might be mine. Me mm too. -hmm. Right. Sorry, Rudy. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's just that anybody who's watching, they're, they're, they're going to have a hard time hearing you through that. It's pretty loud. It's all good. Mm -hmm. so. All right, it's a yeah. little, it's a little bit lower now. We ever did something, but uh, uh, go on, Rudy. You know, th this is just like a basic, just side view, just showing like different heads, uh, like mohawk or uh, devils. You know, like you know, like misfits or whatever, like uh, like the band and misfits when they have like the devil, whatever it's called, the devil lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that mm -hmm. type of style. But I kind of, again, like just try to. I, w I wanted to do like a like a kind of like a keyframe, like a really good like composition, but I just felt like uh, I should just do more of a concept, you know, take on it and just make it, you know, like if it was like a sheet showing different, you know, like no, concept good. art. You know, you're do you're doing it right. Yeah. yeah, bro, you're doing it right. Um, we got some feedback in the chat. Uh, there's an anime where a werewolf fights vampires with a group of humans. Of course, there's an anime like that. That's what. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you said that. Uh, Bastard B says he likes B. Oh, thanks. 
And, yeah. And, and Bastard Beast also says uh, Deathlock. I don't. Does he look like Deathlock? I don't know who Deathlock is. Sorry, I'm not uh, that nerdy. I don't know. <laughs> you nerd, Bastard Beast. Um, and you know the, the the body type of this uh of this concept of um of Raziel is more like buff or more, or the other one was more um like Bane kind of oh this one right here yeah more like a bulky you know big guy yeah yeah, yeah I can see yeah. that his neck he's, his neck is pretty swole yeah <laughs> and this one you, you, you used a little bit of this is different as well yeah more um like slender uh more you know, like Dracula, vampiric, you know, like wearing kind of like, you know, covering his, I don't know, just <laughs> more like a count or something like that, yeah. with like a certain type of head headdress. I, I kind of like how this one comes up all the way. I, 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 I'd want to see some yeah. like mechanics of, of how he would turn his face within it, though. Yeah, I wanted to get really in there, but it's like, I just, uh, this, it was a crazy week uh, this week that I had, like, uh, I even was like uh you know like i met a, a female so <laughs> all these things started piling up but i got a lot of stuff you know i try to do as much as i could and get laid. No big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah uh, and here we got this one Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's cool one so and it's like you. another the original take when i was uh just purely uh you before i, I would jump to uh Photoshop. I was when I was just straight up in ZBrush, like in, in some kind of because I I would go to a a local Starbucks and I was like on a marathon to to be you know get take away from distractions at home, so I'd just be focusing and then like I I had this one idea that I wanted to do in, in uh, ZBrush where uh it was like tech like demon tech or something like the abyss where he went he was there was like machines and like uh, flesh and all this stuff and I had a, a concept of a big uh like kind of like a tentacle machine like monster mm -hmm. and it was going to connect to his uh that back you know like that matrix uh yeah yeah, um, yeah where he comes he, yeah he gets woke yeah he gets a uh, and, and, <laughs> and then he pulled, they pulled the dildo out from behind his head <laughs> yeah yeah and i was gonna do something like that but then i, I scrapped that idea because it was gonna take too much time to get uh you know and then I was, you know, trying to learn a, a little bit of anatomy to those back muscles and just weird fleshy, even like where his, at, his butt sat, like, you know, just weird, stretchy, muscly stuff. <laughs> it was hard. It was, it was like a challenge, but it, it, uh, I'm pretty much going to like, you know, continue with those models and maybe uh, use them for other things uh, um, and just keep like have a default thing to build on. Yeah, so no. then, you know, whoa. whoa, well, what happened? My phone or my, my computer just blacked out for a second i don't know what just happened oh crap what? that was still here dude okay some weird stuff happening right now i don't know how about you guys in the chat you see what's going on yeah okay. I st your screen's still there it's, it's still there okay well it's yeah. not responding i'm gonna have to uh Crap. It just crashed. Whoa. Uh, it's well, back. Every, everybody else sees sees this. This white yeah. screen that it's I'm gonna Okay. I'm back. Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know why Google Chrome just crashed. Everything turned white. But you guys heard everything, right? You guys could keep hearing yeah. everything. You hear me yeah. now? We're good. All right. So, uh, let me let me open your th thingy back up again, and then we will go here. All right, so uh, so like uh, demon tech, that's a cool idea. That would have been cool to see if you would have fleshed that. Yeah, out. that would have been nice. So yeah. overall, what would you say your favorite part of what you did is? Um, basically just the the uh, the exploration of um just getting in ZBrush and trying to like uh, 
like build a like a body of a like how because it, it's been a while. I was getting kind of rusty, so, so I was jumping on a bunch of other apps. So just coming back to it, your, dusting off your ZBrush skills. You're saying, yeah, and um and just thinking a little bit more like uh, you know trying to get his you know I wanted to get dark like where you could see his throat open or whatever like <laughs> whatever like like how it is in the in the game. But uh, I don't know like um I should there was another a concept I had too. Uh, but it's in, it's I didn't uh, save it out. It's just in uh, in ZBrush. But it's like a like Self, a selfish. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it, it looks like a bungee, like a, a flying squirrel type of thing. But it's like a like super demonic, and its skin is like um, stretched out. Like a I posted it on my Facebook. Uh, it's on the, the timeline or whatever on Instagram. But it shows up on my Facebook. Uh, Timeline, a uh, little thing. We'll share, but, give you a share, share it later, bro. We'll, yeah, like, you know, share it later. Share, share yeah, but it, Monster Mash too, so people can yeah, see. Yeah. Like, I, I, I encourage anybody who's contributing to the show to, to share their stuff. I have a template as well that you guys can put your stuff in, so everything kind of looks like it belongs together. Uh, I'll send that to you guys later. Yeah, because you know, I'm kind of like, I would, I would try to uh, show my screen or in, open up like uh, ZBrush, but I think it'd just be. Too much. Uh, no, I, no, yeah, no, one no. of the models, like I think, is like three million polygons or whatever, or some some of them are like two, so it's not. But overall, I did three. Um, I feel good about myself because I did like for this project, I did uh, three like models. Like I did the full body one, and then I did the bust. You know, like the side view you guys saw. Even though like it, it didn't do justice, like seeing it like in the well, don't, the, you're the two, the two dimensional. Don't, don't get too down on it, man. Like if it, yeah. like. Like I hate all my stuff a day after I do it, so you know that's just yeah. that's the process of being an artist. Learn, I know it's just what we do. <laughs> learn to hate yourself with style. Yeah. Learn to hate yeah. yourself with style. Yeah. So yeah, don't don't get down on that stuff, man. Yeah. That's, that's just that's just part of it. Like that, that, and that's also kind of the joy of this this show is every time like yeah. like if you if one of your designs isn't that like amazing, next go you're you know you're gonna you're gonna improve. It's just yeah that's just how things are so what would you say your uh least favorite part is uh just uh like the hand uh not focusing on the hands and like the actual uh, costume for the the model oh okay like i just kind of like because it's all i did it in dynamesh it's all like one piece i should have broke it down like in sub tools where um they're all separate like you know he could have like different like ornaments and stuff going on yeah yeah yeah. i mean you still could have done that with dynamesh Dynamesh is, is some more ZBrush terms, that, that 3D sculpting program I was talking about. Yeah. Well, right on, man. Uh, cool iterations. Uh, good work. I, I'm glad you Thank knocked, you. I'm glad you knocked the dust off. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, it looks good. Um, uh, Dion, no, you've muted yourself. I forgot you muted yourself. Yeah, yeah, you man. Talking to yeah, guys. Uh, I no, to you. I didn't. I didn't forget. I just, I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. Oh, okay. No, I see you, babe. <laughs> uh, James, <laughs> J- James, you, you said you have to go. Yeah, I have to like take my mom to church. So well, that's important. That called me. So okay, we'll yeah. take mom to church, and uh, I'm glad we had you go first. Um, if you guys, anybody that's watching, if you want to t- check out James Wu's art, uh, there's a link below the video. He's a big master yeah. with all the artists that have contributed to the show. So, all right, James. Yeah. Nice work, James. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, take it easy, James. Yeah, see you all, too. man. Take care, man. Yeah, I'll check the rest in the YouTube video. So, okay, Thanks. for sure, man. Yep. All, right. Cool, man. all right, see you, James. All right, uh, Jonathan Fernandez, yep. would you like to expose yourself to the camera today? Sure. Okay. Let me. There you go. There we go. Okay. Cool. So I started with this uh, sketch. Like my idea was uh, attached to the initial design of Brazil. Like don't go too far. So I wanted to turn him into more like a action hero, but with a bit, uh, I don't know, realism probably. Mm. So I did this. This, this first sketch. Then I went into Seabrush and started uh, like a base mesh and, you know, painting over it and, and then 
finish it on on, fun, on Photoshop. Sorry, but oh yeah. So there you go. I don't know what can I say. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to do more like a action hero, not so uh, gritty or or like a corpse, like like a dead body. So more like an, a, a dirty hero. And yeah, that, that, that's it. Not not much to say. Like, uh, and also like a bit uh, animal looking with the feet mm. and and the and the hands. I wanted to do a pose too, but had no time <laughs> for it. So I just went straight forward to the final illustration, a bit more greedy. Okay. Um. Uh, tell me about the, the like the hand armor and stuff. Like, where, yeah. Where? So I, I I. Can you show that? I saw, yeah. 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 I saw like uh, he had some straps on the original design, so I prefer to do like an armor, thinking oh. of him like he was uh, like a prince or something, a vampire prince. So I I think like probably he will have an armor for that, but it's a corpse, so. So this armor got destroyed or, or something. So you just have so these pieces left. Something in the in the feet, something in the hands, this uh, shoulder pad, and and pretty much, pretty much it. This uh, these straps here, like bandages. That's the that's the word. Mm -hmm. And. And and that's it, I guess. The head, yeah, I I, I didn't like the Backstreet Boy look neither. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went for something more cadaveric, like this. Uh, this old show, Tales from the Crypt. You remember that show? Yeah. 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 I like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I like the head of the character a lot, so I wanted to do something similar with with his head, like more cadaveric, just some strings of hair in there. And, and that's it. I, I think this is pretty much close to the original design. I, I didn't went too far with it. Yeah, you, you just changed it a little, but that's okay. Like uh, that was yeah. a, maybe that's what, what was your your calling. The legs look a little more animalistic, and yeah, the, uh, the Soul Reaver itself looks kind of more uh, ghosty. I wanted ghost -like, to, to go yeah. from my, ghost -like. yeah, more, more ghosty look. So yeah, and I get get rid uh, of the wings in the back. I I, I didn't know like those so <laughs> I, I always thought the wings are kind of placed in a weird spot okay. yeah but uh but i think that was just for its time like they're all, how are we going to animate the arms if the wings are up here they're going to go through the wings all the time so, <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah it yeah. didn't went too far from the original i guess <clears throat> yeah so uh what would you say your favorite part about what you did is? Uh, I think the head, the face. Yeah, I, I, I really like. like I like the bed head. I like it. Yeah, I like this this head a lot. Like this this parts especially, <laughs> the eyes with the energy. Yeah. I think this is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. The, the yeah, least favorite the whiskey. I, I like the uh, is how it. Nice. Oh, that's very nice. It's the old ones. Blowing in your mind. <laughs> but anyway, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, no worries. So, yeah, and, and, and the head, the head and the legs. I think that's my my favorite part. Right on, man. Uh, and what would you say your least favorite part is? Sorry, sorry, I didn't hear well. I know. It's Dion, is that you, man? Yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. That'll work yeah, for there you. There you go. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Uh, what, what what did you say your least favorite part is? Oh, the heaps. Oh, okay. What yeah, I that? think it looks weird a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on in the crotch area. You guys, like, kind of yeah. through. Yeah, me neither. That's something I needed to figure out better. Oh, okay. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Uh, like, it's almost... I mean, that 
I think either either way you lean with it, like either A, you like make his legs like kind of porous and see through, which would just would be a really cool aesthetic, or yeah. B, B, you figure out just to uh, how to make the muscles like correct or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, right on, man. Good piece. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You guys ready for some white noise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Big D, you're out, brother. All right. Unmute yourself and let's hear some noise. You're just quiet. You just don't even care. I see the top of your head. Or not. You don't even care anymore. <laughs> Dion, what are you doing? I'm worried. You're laughing in silence. I don't hear shit. <laughs> no, can't hear you. You got a nice smile, though. I can't hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Adrian Blom says you're, uh, Jonathan, he says your, your piece was nice. And yeah, oh, he, thank you. He also says Raziel is basically the crow in vampire form. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I could see that. He's got a similar vibe going. Yeah, yeah, totally the crow and vampire form. Those bastards. Uh, what, what came first, though? Uh, I, I like the the see through uh, aspect of his of his concept of Jonathan's, because it kind of it would be cool, like uh, in, just in my mind, how I think, like uh, it would be, like it, like you know, he came from the abyss, maybe like the the gods or the ancient ones didn't care so much. Like they just put them together, like mashed them up kind of mm -hmm. like a, like a, you know, like a, just a bunch of parts that don't even kind of like, a, um, like Alex is, a um, you know, with the maggots and all that. Yeah. 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 Like something like that. Like, you know, like the, the old ones have no, they really don't care how we think of like, you know, like of anatomy. They just put mm -hmm. things together, like chunks of like yeah, you know, kind of <laughs> slabs of meat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. Just patch him up and send him to kill anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know nice job, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, man. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a version without the cloth over his face? Mm, I think no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I did a bit of work under it, but not really. Like, no, I, I, I have not. <laughs> Because I was curious because, uh, you know, the uh, his stance and the way his head is a, a bit uh, tilted, uh, he, he, he does have an attitude, you know, something like, you're about to get effed up really yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that. You know, he's staring right in your eyes, but his head is not straightforward, you know, it's just like uh you know a bit in uh thinking on, yeah 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 you can see it <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, yeah and he's ready to just to to, to you know to, to, to punch and, and just mess you up i love it yeah thanks yeah yeah i went for that yeah man nice work so yeah thanks we, we're gonna move on to me because i don't know what's going on with dion and then and then i will sure. go slowly oh yeah. He's back. Uh, also, uh, Alex, would you mind sharing your camera? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Dion, are you live? Are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hell yeah. I was about to go out of turn. It, it was going to be a mess. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're here. You expose yourself to the camera. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to open up Photoshop, though, so it's just going to be in a... Uh... Oh, really? Your PC is pooping out? Yeah, yeah, it can't run and up at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Have you send it? Because uh, 
Rudy sent me all his stuff previous. Yeah. And that was a fantastic Oh, okay. I, I was nervous. I was like, I hope my connection. Yeah, that, I live in a. I live out in the country, so I don't know. Sometimes it's not the best Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I see it, Dion. I see some. Okay, cool. So take us on the journey. I can't see you guys anymore, though. That's okay. Take us on the journey. All right, so. All right, cool. Yeah, so basically, um, I started running out of time. I mean, as you can see, I have three little templates here, but I only have one that I actually filled out, basically. <laughs> well, that's all right. But um, this is the, uh, the costume design that I kind of ended up going with. So you can see, like, I have these little, you know, tattered wings hanging down behind him. And um, I put some armor and some clothes on him just because I thought it was kind of weird how, like, he's a warrior, but they didn't have any armor on or anything. Well, he was rotting for a few um, time, but, but maybe he later on. Yeah, but screw that. <laughs> well, I mean, later on, he's like, maybe I don't want to be naked, you know? Like, <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. I'm like, look like a zombie and I don't have my damn jaw. You know, I'm going to put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I put some clothes on him. Um, is it still sharing? Uh, I got it a went dark. screen now. I see, your, I see the top of your dome. <laughs> oh, come on. You your glasses. You can't All right, wait a second. And some shoes. There's some jacket. There you are. Your teeth. I see some teeth. <laughs> okay, look at that. How about that? Nice. It's very dramatic. Yeah, I kind of went with like a uh, like video game style proportions. So like his hands and his feet are like a little bigger than than they should be. Um, I made the wings kind of a uh, see-through since the light is like coming up from behind him. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, the little thing that I had like going around his neck, I wanted it to look tattered. So I made it look almost kind of furry. Um, I did add his jaw back in, but I had a um, an alternate version that didn't have the jaw, but I can't open it now. Uh oh. Um, That's a shame. Yeah. I suppose just share it in Monster Mash later on. And then, yeah, I'll share it in Monster Mash. Yeah, sorry, man. Next time, no, if, right. if you come on the show again, uh, next time just uh, send me your stuff prior, and then I'll share it on my screen so there's no uh, continuity with you. Yeah, okay. But, uh, but, okay, we don't get to see that other part. But, yeah, nice dramatic pose. I dig it. I almost I also put a mask on him, too. That's kind of nice. Because I like the idea of him having, like, something covering his face because he thought it was you know, that disgusting. Kinda, that kind of makes more sense, almost. Like, like after he emerges, like, like he, he, he covers his face up right away. I mean, don't you think an easier thing for him to do is to throw a mask on? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so so tell, tell me about the dramatic pose. Like, well, is, it, is this a scene that you're thinking of, or... Well, no, I mean, I've been playing, like, a lot of that Dragon Ball Fighter Z game lately. Okay. And there's this character in it named Brawly, and, like, one of his wind poses is, like, really, like, dramatic. He's, like, you know, powering up and stuff. And, like, um, I kind of wanted that same kind of energy, but having more, like, kind of, like, almost like he's howling at the, the sky. Mm. So I kind of, oops. No, you're good. I see you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I wanted him to have that kind of uh, that kind of energy. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, can, can, can you zoom into the face a bit? Yeah. Let's see what's going on there. I like the, like the MF Doom kind of like feel to it, like the the mask, like uh, Doctor Doom kind of. Oh yeah, the half mask. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, Badass. Yeah, see, there we go. That's the money shot. 
little chrom <laughs> chromatic aberration. No. Yeah. The chromatic aberration always makes uh, black and white look sexy. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, and I made him bald, too. Hell yeah, that's bald is sexy. Bald is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted the mask to almost look like it was kind of like cutting into his head, like... Uh, like on the uh maybe it was the uh the the friday the 13th before this last one but uh jason's mask was like so tight on his head that it looked like it was kind of like almost cutting into it and i wanted that same yeah. kind of feel like almost like his skin had gotten like bloated from the water but also like kind of mummified i don't know yeah, that'd be cool. Well, like if we, yeah. like if you expounded on that, like took those mask elements and like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> put, put like put him like other parts in his body, like, like. Yeah. Yeah. But I dig it. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Um. So, what would you say your your favorite part about your image is? Um. My favorite part is always the details. Oh, okay. Just because I can just kind of go into turn off the mind and start adding some more. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I kind of like how the lighting turned out on his backhand. Oh yeah, um, it does look pretty correct. If we like, you know, film film quality correct. Yeah, and that was unexpected because my lighting is usually terrible, but. Yeah, yeah, those would probably be my two favorite things about the piece. And your, and your least favorite? Um, well, I didn't have enough time. I was also gonna do kind of like a, like a black kind of miasma coming off of him, and like going into his mouth, but I didn't have enough time to do that. So that sucked. I also don't like that. Um, uh, his skin looks too uniform. And I wanted it to look almost like, uh, like mummified, but yeah. I didn't have enough time to like put all those wrinkles and like the little tiny details in. Yeah, no, I hear um, it. Well, now you have time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to hit it again. Yeah. I also don't like his front hand either. I don't know. I don't feel like the, like the values on the metal really read like, like correctly. Well, if I were to so gonna, if I were to critique it, I think the the hot spots wouldn't be so white. And, yeah. And you would have yeah. you would have a lot of that light coming just from the top and a little bit of bounce light below. Mm-hmm. Metal's top metal's hard. Yeah. So, well, right on, man. Good piece. Thanks, man. Any, Thanks, any other uh, criticisms or comments from you other gentlemen in the room? Yeah, I like it, the, the dramatic pose it reminds me, or now I'm make make me imagine like this could be a, a a presentation in Broadway or something like that, like <laughs> like a theater. Yeah, Soul Reaver the presentation, I dig it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, Soul I Reaver it. live on Broadway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but it looks as good. long as it's not a musical. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see this character burst into scene. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. I like but, the the mount, like the the rocks. Like it almost feels like he's like way up at, at a high peak, almost like uh, the Lion King. You know, like at the yeah. you know, holding a baby up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what I like about it is uh, it's the way that she let it uh, be only on uh, black and white. Uh, and the way, you know, the whole scene, the whole drama to the scene and the, the pose um, kind of gives a vibe of a, uh, you know, fantasy or dark uh, 30s or 40s movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The wire. Yeah, I can see that, yeah, for sure. If he just added a little more film green or something to the image. And... Yeah, I'll do yeah. That. 
That, 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 that'd that be kind of a cool idea, maybe. It's, a little mm-hmm. and it, it's like Phantom of the Opera, like, vibes going on, too. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, because yeah, of the mask. <laughs> yeah. And, like, how he's trying to, like, hide himself, kind of, or, like, he's, like, kind of, like, far from the, you know, focal. He's kind of, like, mysterious, like, yeah. a dramatic uh, pose. Yeah. Yeah, man, good piece. Thanks, man. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I mute. go last. I will explain mute my mic this. again. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Oop. And then... Don't crush your PC again. <laughs> no, it wasn't my PC, luckily. All right. So initial, this is my initial Damn. sketch. I, I, I shared it on social media already just to see if anybody is interested in, in uh, Raziel or Soul Reaver for that matter. Um, I had an idea of kind of ingraining, uh, like, I don't know, having like, like a kind of river, like just for aesthetic purposes, kind of going up his head that, like, that, that are like indented in his skull, like it's like rotted away his skull, but it's still like part, like, you know, it just remains there. And then uh, the Soul Reaver itself, I wanted to, uh, like the sword, it, like I kind of wanted to, I don't know if you call it the hilt or whatever that part is that, that guards your hand. I want, like, uh, it, it's in, in the story, it's destroyed. Um, and I figured maybe he made like a mask out of it or, yeah. or it was gifted to him some way or another, uh, you know, or. You know, I, I don't know some kind of cool gothic backstory to that would allow him to use the so, bits of the Soul Reaver as a mask. Um, you know, maybe another vampire gave it to him on his journey for revenge. Who knows? I don't know. Which seems pretty plausible, being like an RPG. And is my my mic is low? Am I good now? Yep. There you go. It was low. I was turning away from the thing. Here, let me. Uh, Sorry about that. We'll, we'll just uh, you that good. a little bit. There we go. Um, so here is here's a side by side. Um, here's him nice and naked. I, nice. I shot him naked just to show like how his body actually like is. Like he's got the you know grotesque type. Uh, you know, jaw ripped off, uh, his soul kind of kind of breaking out right here. This is like his soul reaver arm, and then his emaciated body. I changed the way how his his uh, uh, what you call it, the his wings are like kind of like a wingsuit. Yeah. Like they're attached to his back. It kind of made more sense to me. Mm-hmm. And then uh, his, his clothing. Like I, I, I like wrapped, like I, I figured like he doesn't want his, his, his rotten area that used to be a penis to be shown. <laughs> um, so he's probably going to cover some, some parts of that up, maybe even have a little bit of style. So, you know, it has like, you know, kind of a loin clothy type style that wraps around his like emaciated min- midsection, like up here. And like, there's like three straps over here and. I, don't know, I try to get, I try to get bougie with it, <clears throat> and then you'll see I change the mask. Let me fashion show. <laughs> yeah, a little, exactly. I changed the mask to, to I extended the the hip, nice. uh, to where it, like it wraps up the sides of his face. That looks pretty cool. And here is like a a better shot of of his. Uh, you know, like, like you guys, some of you guys had the, uh, the wispy hair or whatever is coming off his head. I also had that idea. Um, I don't know what these coin things were. I just figured they look kind of cool. Like maybe they could be symbols of, of, or, or badges or something that he took from, from the other vampire generals or something. Who knows? That could probably be explored a little bit more. And then, then I did this. Which, oh, oh damn! It's, it's not <laughs> quite. It's not quite done. 
like I wanted to spend a little bit more time on it, but I ran out of time. So uh, there he is. That's on... a long, long sword. Huh? Yeah. That's yeah. a long, long sword. That's right. <laughs> that's what she said. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I didn't know the world was actually, Nosgoth was actually like the world, like, you know, our world. So I added a, I don't know, it has like two little. I don't know if they're moons or planets or what, but two two moons and planets always looks nice, right? Yep. Yeah. And and yeah, that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Cool. <laughs> nice man. Uh, any any. That's comments? crazy. All the huh? The. Nah, I just said like it's it's pretty cool, man. All the skulls and everything. And yeah, yeah. The whole set piece. That's, that's what I, Badass. <laughs> I was about to say like this that structure with skulls is pretty cool pretty badass oh thanks thanks it was, it was kind of a I, I was gonna have it be something different yeah and then I started uh, it just like some sh like just some shapes came out at me and I'm like you know what that's those should be skulls yeah and I, I, I kind of dug it too. Like it was kind of like gothic-y type. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, just just kind of fits the aesthetic of it being gothic and more gritty. Like more of a yeah. gritty world that you're already watching when you watch uh, the Soul Reaver. Because it's supposed to be kind of gothic-y. Like it, there's this, in the story, like a thousand years later, everybody's pretty much dead and the vampires are pretty much destroyed the world, I think. I think. Yeah. So I f figured, you know, showing some of that degradation with like human skulls and uh, or carved skulls with some kind of weird kind of, you know, I, I don't know. I, is it Geiger esque? I don't. It's not quite. I don't know if it's Geiger esque yeah. or not. Uh, yeah, like a. Yeah. Kind of like <laughs> small Bible. Like a. Kind of like the the silhouette. Kind of reminds me of the engineer. Uh, chair or whatever from uh, um, from Alien, kind of. Oh yeah. Like there's just a almost like the shape, the silhouette, the lighting, how it's hitting it. it has like a vibe to it. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But I like a. Uh, I dig it. And I like it. It's pretty cool. Thanks. So uh, Adrian Blom says it gives me a witch doctor feel. Um, it does? Does it look like a witch doctor? Which doctor? I don't know. Doctor who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, that's my stuff. Again, here's that. Pretty cool. Here's the here's the the Barbie dolls. My Barbie, <laughs> Barbie doll shot, and then that, and my initial sketch, which kind of inspired it. So. Like the wing and the mask came out really good. I really like those. What did? The wings and the mask. Oh, you like that? Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had him like the initial sketch like this with the little, uh, like little tiny little pinner, little pinner things coming off. I'm like, well, if I'm going to make a design, it should be a little bit more bold than just have, have that. So I, I wanted to change the silhouette of it and make it a little more intense. Um, and that's, so that's how you ended up with these big, big guys. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, dude, I forget which one, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, that, that's it. That's all. That's, that's, I've exposed myself. That's my penis. <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's a that's a wrap for this show pretty much <laughs> now um adrian Blom says that i live in africa i know which doc i do not believe that you that you live in africa i don't for some reason i don't do you really live in africa <laughs> waiting for comment <laughs> can you let your fingers lie <clears throat> well the next show will be on the 8th, right? March 8th. March 8th. 
two weeks from now. Two weeks. Every it's always two weeks. So if you're if you're like oh, I don't know when, it's always two weeks. Always. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, and the next ones that we're gonna be doing shredder. Shredder. Yep. Shredder. The shredder. Like not like a paper shredder, but like. <laughs> Tartan <laughs> shredder, and that will be happening on the eighth. Um, does anybody have any uh, any projects or anything that they want to talk about before uh, the show ends? Oh, uh, not a project, but I always forget to say that I'm also the shoe thief online. So if you guys see the shoe thief in like on Twitch or something like that, that's me. So. Okay, Stop yeah. thinking I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm not a girl. Hey, why, don't, why don't you play it up, man? Do they, if you were a girl, you'd have a, at least five times as many followers. Of, I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a boob that you're sick. Yeah, little boobs really act interested when like the nerds say stuff in the chat. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, next is Shredder, guys. Um, if you guys are interested, that are, those of you that are watching, if you're interested in seeing anybody's uh, artwork that you saw on the show, again, it's uh, down below. We got Rudy Rodriguez. We got Jonathan Hernandez. Alexandru Popa. And we got Dion Harris and James Wu. He had to leave earlier because uh, church called to the mother. Um, so uh, that's a wrap. And uh, thanks for coming by, everybody. Um, say bye, 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 everyone. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, thanks for having me. Take care, you guys. Yeah, thanks, yeah. guys. Bye, Take care, guys. You too. <laughs>